Hey folks, welcome to another VR video. Today I am flying an air tricycle essentially in Microsoft Flight Simulator X. Now this is an ancient flight simulator based on I believe 13 or 14 year old technology but it works in virtual reality with a program called Fly Inside. Now I'm using the demo version of Fly Inside so I'm not going to take a super long flight. I'm also flying based off of an airport in the Bay Area in Half Moon Bay. It's a very small airstrip that's just south of San Francisco and I'm flying at dawn which is a few hours away. I, I woke up in the middle of the night and decided to record this video. But at this point, what I'm doing is actually flying above an area that's very near to my home. I live in the San Francisco Bay Area. And I decided instead of purchasing the brand new flight simulator that doesn't yet have a virtual reality mode, I would check out what it would be like to fly near my home in kind of an open air aircraft. Now, you can fly huge jumbo jets, but you don't have the view that this sort of air tricycle has. Um, and, and I just decided that this would be a very cool way to fly. I love flying as a bird in games where you can fly as a bird. Uh, this isn't quite as good uh, because there's more of a cockpit to it. But this particular type of cockpit view, having only, uh, I think the max speed on this thing is like 80 miles per hour. It's more of a hang glider with a fan on the back of it and three wheels than any type of an actual plane. Uh, but let, let's 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 kind of pan over toward the coast a bit so we can get to the water now this is being supported by the oculus touch controllers the demo version that I'm currently playing is about a 15 minute time limited demo um, I haven't actually played for 15 minutes yet I, I just got it up and running got excited and decided to make the video but I have to say, it is super smooth inside the headset. I don't know what it looks like to you as a viewer, but this is beautiful. Um, it's obviously not going to be as polished as a modified version of this particular flight simulator or as good as the current 2020 version of Microsoft Flight Simulator that just recently came out. But... In virtual reality, this is pretty sweet. I have to say, um, I, I really like this air tricycle because I can actually see the world below me and fly at low enough distances. Like right now, I'm only around 2,900 feet up. I can actually go down as far as hundreds of feet and sort of see the detail, the ground below. Now. As you get closer to objects, you notice where there's some flaws in this flight simulator. Like all of the trees look exactly the same. But also as you get closer to the ground, the speed of the tricycle speeds up, which is pretty sweet. So let's actually try to get over to the coast here. You can see the trees starting to pop in here as we get closer to the land. And of course, when we increase our elevation, our speed goes down a bit. And that detail on the ground changes a bit. Now that's all in the simulator. That's not really related to what Fly Inside's doing. What Fly Inside's doing is it's decoupling my head look allowing me to actually turn the aircraft as you can see I as I make sudden shifts it actually moves 
I want to go over to the coast. You can sort of start seeing the waves coming in from the ocean. There's a uh, highway there. Now, if we get lower and lower, eventually you also start to see things like cars. Now, this is Highway 1 right here. It goes all along the California coast. Now, right now, I'm only around 230 feet up. So now we'll head toward an actual airport. So we can try to land. And actually, we should probably head towards San Francisco a little bit. So you can see at least one landmark while we're here. So we'll, he we'll head up a bit. And then we'll go to the north a bit. I also like the compass on this one. Because with the compass, you can see north, south, east, and west super easily. Like, this is probably the easiest aircraft to fly ever. And off way in the distance over there, you can see Sutro Tower from San Francisco. You can see the San Francisco Bay to our right over there. And you can now start to see the formation of the Golden Gate Bridge over there. Because we're high enough up, we've got a huge view. And there's San Francisco proper. Off to the right a little bit. And being able to fly around places that I recognize is outstanding. There, there's not... It's not super realistic. Like, the, I can't f fly over my house like you can in the most recent flight simulator. You can actually use real map data. Uh, this is a close proximity. San Francisco being a major city, you can kind of see the city over there. Uh, if I wonder if I, if I tug on this. Wow, I can actually use the hand controller to to tug at the uh, don't have to use the little stick to drive even though that's what I'm going to do because it feels like the right way to do it so I sort of see the city over there the city is not where the airport is though the airport we turn to our right here. It's over there where all those flashing lights are. So we're going to start heading toward the airfield. And that's the San Francisco International Airport. It doesn't actually look like that anymore. Uh, the actual airport itself does, but the terminals have all been greatly remodeled since the last time uh, this particular flight simulator was refreshed. I imagine Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020 is a little bit different. Yeah, for this video, I just decided I, I wanted to fly a bit. And with the new Microsoft Flight Simulator coming out, I was hoping they'd sneak in VR mode early. They did not. Um, so I decided to boot up Fly Inside here with the old Flight Simulator X. 
I have to say it works pretty darn well. I'm really happy with it. Uh, as you can see, as you fly closer to the ground, the textures are not super great, but they work. Um, and it gives you a really good sensation and illusion of flight. I really like flying in VR, as you know, uh, if you've watched any of my content before. And the other thing that I really like about this particular simulator is I'm not doing anything like it's not a battle. It's not a combat simulation. It's just flight. Um, and that's what I'm aiming for with this. I, I really like just being able to just fly around places that I pseudo recognize because again, all of this is pretty much uh, auto generated at this point. The, airfield locations and the city location for San Francisco here, of course, are correct approximations, um, but the ground textures and places, of course, are very different than, than real. Now, this being a major airport, going to be different than some of the smaller airports. The smaller airports uh, might not even have those lights to guide you to the runway. And I'm getting to the point now where I'm going to have to set down one of my hands. It's going to look a little weird for a second. And the reason for that is I need to throttle. Let's uh, do that now. might have done that a little too soon but we're gonna see if we can glide in right onto the airstrip I, think I cut the throttle too soon Let's see if we can keep us afloat now we're gonna hit the ground that's okay the beauty of this particular aircraft is we can do that without fear this isn't a 747 this isn't anything huge it's just a light little tricycle essentially so this was a quick look at fly inside fsx the demo is available freely uh, if you can pick up a copy of flight simulator x uh, it also supports prepare 3D um, and a couple of other flight simulators as well but this particular version of this flight simulator I believe if you register it is $29 gives you unlimited flight instead of the 15 minute trial I just really like taking off and flying around the San Francisco Bay Area myself but it's got the entire world it's flight simulator X uh, flight simulator X I actually picked up for I think it was around seven or eight dollars I'm going to go ahead and uh, reapply the throttle here, take off again. And I don't actually need the second touch controller because it's just one stick. Um, but our trial time is ending. So I'm going to go ahead and end this video as well. I hope you've enjoyed this video, this look at Fly Inside FSX. I'll be back with more VR content soon. Until next time, get out there and enjoy some VR for yourself. Thanks for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye bye now.